Okay, right, radiated potato. All right, let's show you how to do this. Right, first off, um, you'll need a couple of potatoes. I've got these two delicious red skin roosters and uh, you'll need a, a knife that's really good for thin slicing, nice flexible knife for thin slicing. And what I do here is I use my old friend Spoonzilla because Spoonzilla acts as a stop, a bolster for cutting through the potato. So all you do then is you, um, is you run down the potato, let me do it this way so you can see. So you run down the potato using the, knife, the spoon as a bolster and then you just go down. That way you're not cutting all the way through your potato and you cut in about a quarter to an eighth inch vertical slits through the potato so that it ends up looking like it starts fanning out a little bit and looking like a radiator, hence the term radiator potato. Okay, you'll see what happens there. Um, it's difficult for you to see in this, um, but let, let's get you zoomed up a little bit better. Okay, okay. So there you go, radiator potato. I'll do one more so you see what I'm doing. Let me keep that in the shot if I can. And down to the spoon each time using the spoon as a stop. Too easy look. And I'm just cutting those little one eighth to one quarter inch or say five millimeter slices, vertical slices down through the potato and to be stopped by the spoon. Try to keep them vertical because you don't want to cut wedges out of it. You just want it to open up like that. Okay, right. So the next thing we'll need is Salt, pepper, and oil. So we've got salt, and we've got pepper, and we've got oil. Right, let's get the, um, let's get these opened up and get them onto the tray, because that makes it all tidier. Meanwhile, you need to have your oven cranked up to about 200 degrees uh, Celsius, which is around 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, So we start to peel these apart and get some salt into them. Now getting the salt into them helps to get the cracks open and also try to get a bit of oil into each one. A little bit of oil and a little bit of salt. It might help if you've got a pot of salt and you start picking up the salt and just chucking it in there. Okay. Get in, get some oil in to each one and all the way to the bottom. Make sure it gets in each one otherwise you, you'll have gaps of it not cooking right. And again with these, get it all in, in and on. You're only using a little bit really, I mean you can just have a little pot with oil in it and just lift it in with a spoon if you don't have one of these bottles like I've got. And uh, let me just wipe my fingers. And then back to the salt. Right, I'm going to make myself a little pile of salt here so that I can get in to the gaps. See that salt? I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, pink. There you go, it's pink Himalayan salt. Mine salt from the Himalayas. Lovely stuff. Not quite as salty as anodized um, table salt, but it has health giving properties, or so I'm told. I just like the taste of it. So, unapologetically, I use it, eat it, and enjoy it. Okay, there you go, look. So I, I use a reflective background, I just use a bit of um, cooking foil, um, aluminium foil, aluminium foil as you say in the United States. Um, it helps to reflect the heat back and onto the taters so each side cooks. So that goes in the oven 
Um, 400 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, 200 degrees Celsius for about 40 minutes uh, until we check it. So um, I'll come back to you once I've checked that. Okay, I just checked the radiator potato and as you see they're starting to uh, come open. Uh, they're not fully cooked through yet but this is a good time just to squirt a little bit of oil into a cup so there's about a tablespoon of oil and I'm just now brushing it over the radiator potato just so we get a nice finish on the radiator potatoes and that will help now that they're starting to come open it'll be a lot easier to get the oil into there so that's painted it until all the oil is gone and now oh, it's starting to fall open look there you go and then just a bit more seasoning at this stage and remember me and my black pepper crazy about it boys and girls crazy about it um, and that's done that's ready to go away back in the oven now until it's finished okay I just thought of a little cheat uh, I can share with you I've got a little bamboo skewer I'm just gonna ease that into there and just allow them to separate a little bit before it goes back in the oven how about that there we go and into the oven okay radiator spuds right let's turn that that way for you so you can see just how good that looks awesome huh let me give you a bit of a close up how about that delicious radiator taters to adorn any table and I'll just pull out the, uh, the little bamboo skewer there because that held it all together so now you've got nice flaky bits of roast tater ready to go and delicious absolutely lovely with a dollop of uh, sour cream and chives if you got uh, sour cream and chives that's a like 90s style dressing for a potato <laughs> all right enjoy